everyone, Nick here from Gluten Free For You. And to, for today's tutorial, we're going to be showing you how you can take a billboard, a real billboard right here, and overlay your own image onto it and make it look like your image is on an actual billboard. And yes, this is the um, poster we brought with us to the World Series. Sorry, um, any Brewers fans out there? Anyway, so we're going to be showing you how we can do that. And so to get started, go go ahead and delete all this real quick. And I am going to import my image. And it helps when you're I'm going to include this um the image of the actual billboard that you can um download it, the links in the description. But if you want to go find your own, it helps if it's not really a depending on how your image looks, it helps if it's not stretched out, if it's more of a square billboard. You want more square than rectangle. Alright, so I'm going to size my image down. Alright. Alright, so that looks pretty good for now. Go ahead and... Alright. So now, I'm going to go ahead and name my layer. Alright, skip that. We're going to go ahead and go to Edit, Transform, and Perspective. And we're going to go ahead and try to match up. We're going to go ahead and skew our image a bit to match up with the, um, the corners that are all set up over here. Make it look like it's um, the right spot. And this part can take a little bit. So I'm just going to go ahead and skip ahead to... Um, Alright, so there we go, that looks pretty close. And if you zoom in real quick, if you've got any rails on the image you're using, you might notice that your image is probably overlapping them a little bit. So to fix that, we're going to take the polygonic lasso tool, select your um, billboard layer, and go ahead and outline the rail. And when we're done outlining this, we're going to do two things with it. We are going to make it so it casts a shadow over your image and we are also going to move it above the um, billboard layer. So there we go, that's now over top of that. And duplicate the layer one more time and move it about here. About like that. And go ahead and take your, um, I guess it's the layer style, and go ahead and choose darken. And now bring down the opacity opacity to about 40%. Try 30. And double click on the layer now. And add a stroke, not a stroke, a um, color overlay to it. To a black. Alright. And go ahead and also soften that up. Um, color overlay, bring down the opacity a little bit, about 48%, 50% or so. And so there is our shadow, move it around a little bit more. Doesn't look perfect, but it'll do for now. And so now if you take another look, you can see our image is way too bright right now in contrast to the rest of the image, the billboard. So to fix that, we're going to select our image layer, go under Image, Adjustments, Brightness and Contrast. So we're going to bring the brightness down a little bit and contrast down a little bit more. And we're also going to go to Exposure. A little bit too much there. Just want to bring down the exposure just a tiny bit. 0 0.19. And let's leave the offset at 0. And gamma correction, um, we can bring that up a little bit. 
maybe 0. Point, for my image it's going to be about 0. 0.95 and so now we are going if you zoom in real quick you can see that this doesn't look perfect right now you've just got the white going right across there so that doesn't look too good so let's double click on our image layer to open up the style panel and we'll click bevel and boss to give it a little bit of a look like it's a tarp being pulled across there so let's bring the size of the bevel up or down to about 8 and let's soften it up to about probably 6 and leave the direction it up and you can play around with the angle a little bit to make it look a little bit nicer alright I like that looks pretty good and we're also going to go back into there and add a stroke and make it about one pixel there we go and we can play around with this a little bit more we can take the um, the dodge tool, the burn tool and probably leave the hardness choose a soft brush make sure the brush size isn't too big and you can play around with that a little bit darkening up some of the some parts of the image where it looks a little bit washed out alright so now we got that done uh, we can come over here and take the dodge tool and some parts of it you might want to brighten up a little bit and if you've got any good shadows coming across there like maybe you've got light across one part of your billboard and a shadow across another part of it you can use these tools to um, if you want to help even that out or make it stand out on your image but this looks pretty good for now and that's pretty much all there is to it you've just created a, your own billboard in Photoshop CS5 <laughs>